Is this your first time driving a boat? Yes, ever. How do you feel about it? Pretty good. I'm kind of nervous, but they're teaching me how to do everything, so I think I should be good. All right, you want to come talk to me and tell me your plan? They're going to disconnect that line and put it up there. So I'm going to have you come forward on the starboard engine of it. Go for it. All positions ready? Well, it's really good for them to get the experience and the leadership and uh, the empowerment opportunity for them to uh, take control of the boat. Uh, it's new for them. It's only the first day that they've been on it. Um, but it's really good that they can kind of get out there, work as a team from day one. These are teenagers who are trying to develop into young adults. So it's a big opportunity for them to work together and work with each other's strengths and weaknesses. Let's are you excited to de-dock this boat? I'm actually really excited. It's going to be a learning process, but I think we'll be good. Strike the bow! So we really want to push the students into taking on the boat, being in charge of it, and feeling accomplishment and a sense of pride as they go through that process. They're on a 40 to 50 foot catamaran or monohull and they're in charge. They're de-docking on day two, which is it's a lot of power that they're responsible for. After any big maneuver like a de-docking or a docking, stuff that's really difficult and really hard to do, we like to do what's called a debrief. So constructive criticism and see how we can all improve as a team. Uh, we're out here on Opal. Uh, it's a Colgate 26. So we're just teaching some basic sailing skills, some tacking, some jiving. Getting kids ready for the ASA 101 exam coming up here at the end of the program. It's pretty easy to learn things on a small boat and then translate them to the big boats we have here because everything's obviously way more confined. You can see everything that's going on and it makes a lot more sense for a lot of people to pick up the basics on a small boat and then translate over to a bigger boat. We've come together as a family to cook and clean for the boat, make a difference. It's your own boat, which means you have to like actually put in the effort, you have to make it yours. So the camp can be anything you make it. Jake, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. You ready to walk this boat with me for clean inspection? Perfect. Let's make sure this whiteboard isn't hiding anything. <laughs> so cleaning inspections are super important. We've got a lot of people living on a boat. It's about 12 people. Um, they get dirty really fast. So for sort of safety and cleanliness reasons, super important to keep a nice, clean and tidy boat. They get on with it and they clean pretty well. I'm quite impressed with this crowd. So it's a, definitely a big part of sort of taking over ownership of the boat is making sure that it's clean, you're cooking there, you want all the things you're using to be clean. You know, we find a way to make it fun by uh, making sure that everybody's Coffee. getting involved. There's no I in teamwork. Today we are sailing from Managata to Leverick. It should be some nice sailing weather. Uh, I have a boat of lots of keen sailors, so they will be taking the home today and taking us to Leverick Bay. Y'all line in the water, and then you're gonna come over this way. So you go line in the water, line out of the water. I'm doing so good, I'm Actually, learning. Actually, mooring ball. Mooring ball. 20 feet. 20 feet off the starboard bow. One, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull. Race day. Attention all contestants, race starting in one minute. Repeat, one minute. Over. Raise the day! 30 seconds remaining, contestants, 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Race has begun. Over yourself, first over the line! Oh. 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 Two people working, two people lazy. Leverick Bay Marina. Uh, kids are having a nice barbecue with the DJ playing some music for us during the sunset. Really good day. <laughs> the kids stopped all the boats. All the boats are in good shape, good working order. It's going to be a really good night for all the kids. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And the morning, stay up and meeting, learning about what we're going to do today. So this is version 4, the arm that we're on, all the way down, 
Okay, then we're down to Peter Island, okay, over here. It's very, very, very important that you guys follow the channel markers on your way out. You guys are not the only ones responsible for bringing this all happen, but you guys are the ones in charge. So make sure you're working with your boat mates to make sure you guys do all the tasks that need to happen in a timely fashion. Have fun, guys. Have, Have fun, fun. Guys. Have a great challenge day. Guys, great. Today is challenge day. It's going to be a fascinating day. It's basically where we let the kids entirely take over the boat. Uh, they're going to be challenge day de-docking today. This is basically where the kids are going to show us what they've learned. This is really where we see the learning, the development and the growth. So all of the grown-ups like sit back and we take complete control of the boat for today. So we cook, we clean, we do our own thing, we drive our boat, we navigate. They don't tell us where to go. We have to like use a map and use everything that they've taught us so far and put it all into today so we can prove what we know. The docking plan is written down. We have all our plans, we have all our notes. We're pretty prepared. They, they've taught us a lot. I hope the wind's in our favor today. I think they've learned everything that they need to know. I think it's more just their confidence in that, the fact that they actually know it. I think they've had all the lessons and they've said a little bit, but we'll see how they work together as a team. Um, no one person knows everything, but together I think they all can pull together and really prove to themselves what they're capable of. You ready to go? Yeah. What's your plan? All right, so we're gonna lead our all of our lines forward. We're gonna motor out to the port side of that monohull right there. We're good. Cool. All right, get everyone in position and ready. You guys ready? Bang, pop your key at the arm. <laughs> Relay, ready? Ready. Roaming fenders, are you ready? Ready. All right, strike the spring, lead the bow and stern. They're not gonna get a perfect first time, and that's okay. The important thing is that they do it on their own and that they realize that they can do it on their own. As long as they understand that they're in control of the vessel, that's the best experience for them. We want to be able to clear that last rock out of 225, so yeah. we're going to go kind of far. Okay. We're going to switch down to a broad reach, so that means that we need to swing our sails out a little farther, so that means that we're going to have to ease on the main sheet and working side. We are currently cruising on a broad reach going about 6.9 knots and we are heading down towards Dead Man's. Yeah, I think we did pretty well today, guys. Cool, yeah. Well done, everybody, on the Galilean crew. What does it feel like to be skipper of the day? It was a lot of fun, and since I've never sailed before, like being in charge of where the boat is going, is such a new experience. It was great having like the whole crew support me, like when there were hard turns or we had to do hard maneuvers. Challenge day was interesting. <laughs> uh, everybody really looked to other people for advice before they went to the counselors. So I thought that was good. And I think our teamwork was really well. Um, but yeah, it was, I think it was a lot of fun because you know the boat was ours for the day. Yeah. Being here, you got to have all the experiences that you can use at home and you start to take initiative and realize what you need to do, you know, you grow up. So.